Hi, I'm Dr. Harris at California Hernia Specialists. Um, one of the topics that we get asked a lot of questions about and that I answer for a lot of my patients um, is about chronic pain after surgery. Um, it wasn't something that I had addressed in our previous videos, um, so I wanted to put together this short video to focus specifically on the uh, incidents, uh, the chances, uh, and what we do to try to avoid chronic pain after surgery. Um, first of all, obviously every patient after any surgery is going to have uh, pain in the short term. I think patients always expect that. So what do we, uh, how do we describe uh, chronic pain? The chronic pain would be pain that is ongoing after, I would say about three months to six months after the surgery. Um, some patients, you know, we usually see patients after about three weeks feeling back to pretty much normal, feeling back to 100% and can get back to almost all of their activities, but there are some patients that may take a month or two or three. So chronic pain patients are those that come back after about three to six months and say, you know, Dr. Harris, I'm just still having bothersome pain. I'm having pain that's limiting my activities. So when we talk about chronic pain, that's what we're talking about. Uh, obviously, I, I, I'm an active person myself, uh, as are most people, uh, and so I understand the value of getting you back to exercise, getting you back to the gym, and getting you back to all of those activities of daily living that make life <laughs> enjoyable. So, uh, so my goal is to get you back after surgery uh, pain-free and, and certainly uh, chronic pain-free. Um, so there was actually a, a really good study done um, and published uh, by the American uh, College of Surgeons, the Journal of the American College of Surgery, um, in 2016, which looked at chronic pain after hernia surgery. There's been a lot of studies out there. Um, this particular article did look at laparoscopic surgery, um, but the data is almost exactly the same for open surgery. And what they found was that patients after six months who had bothersome pain or worse was about 3% of patients. So you're talking 97% of patients after a hernia repair were going to be chronic pain free or they may have, and there was about 8% of those patients uh, that had mild but not bothersome and not limiting discomfort in the groin. So 97% of patients are back to 100% um, after their surgery. Uh, in our practice, in my practice, and what I usually see with my patients um, is, is uh, about that exact same statistic, um, maybe a little better. Uh, in our practice, we probably perform anywhere from 300 to 500 hernia surgeries a year. Um, and at the end of the year, I will see back probably anywhere from three to six patients who come back at three months or six months or maybe a year and say, Dr. Harris, I just, it, I just still have pain, I don't feel right. Um, and so that's about 1%. Um, I would guess that there are some patients that don't come back to see me because they're unhappy. And if they're having pain, maybe they see another surgeon. So I would guess that my statistics are probably around that 2% that have uh, chronic pain after the, after let's say the six month mark. So, you know, for those patients who are concerned about chronic pain, it's real, um, it can happen but the incidence is extremely low. Um, a couple of things, uh, we do have one of our videos that's uh, I think watched a lot by our patients is you know, the truths about hernia mesh. Um, and I discuss how mesh is very important. One of the things to keep in mind that chronic pain has not been attributed to mesh, okay? I tell patients in the office, and if you see me, you'll hear me say the same thing, that Pain after surgery and chronic pain after surgery can happen after any type of surgery, whether it be shoulder surgery or hip surgery or neck surgery or back or any type of surgery. There can be patients that have chronic pain. So you know, hernia surgery is not unique and the mesh that we use isn't the instigating uh, factor. That being said, there obviously are uh, some things that we can do to try to help minimize the pain afterwards and help minimize that incidence of chronic pain. And one of the things that we've found is using lightweight mesh, which is mesh that is uh, thinner and lighter than the old thicker meshes, does reduce the amount of inflammation within the body. 
And what we've seen with the, the hernia surgeons that, that I speak with across the country is that lightweight mesh has dramatically reduced the amount of pain after surgery. So um, whether you have surgery with us or whether you live somewhere else, um, I would certainly try to, to uh, find out if they're using a lightweight mesh. Um, we do in our practice, obviously, and I think that's one of the things that we do to try, try to help minimize pain. Um, one of the other things that, that I do as, as uh, you know, a higher volume hernia surgeon is I take care to try to minimize the trauma that we cause during surgery. I try to minimize the disruption of the nerves that we're uh, dissecting around. We try to minimize the tension on the muscles or the tension on some of the structures within the, um, the groin area or the hernia area, um, which collectively put together hopefully helps limit that uh, incidence of pain afterwards. So, you know, just having an awareness that we don't want to cause chronic pain, that we want to take care of every patient and get them back to normal, um, minimizing the trauma, uh, using a lightweight mesh, all of those things go hopefully to creating a very uh, happy, uh, obviously in a very uh, full recovery for our patients. So. Um, in any case, I hope this helps uh, answer some of your questions about chronic pain. Um, I, I certainly wouldn't want to um, you know, be dishonest and say that that never happens in our patients, but I, I truly think that the incidence of it uh, is very small, and I think we minimize that as much as possible in my practice. So um, I hope this helps. Uh, if you have any questions, certainly feel free to give us a call. Um, we'd be happy to speak with you or see you in our office. Thanks.